All right, you're going to have to listen very carefully to what I'm about to say because um, I had this problem for about, uh, I would say, the week, and then I per uh, gave up trying to figure out um, how to get this fixed. So basically, if you have Premiere Pro, and when you open Premiere Pro or whatever, and it goes in the loading screen, and it loads all your presets, and then when it gets to Sapphire, it crashes. Like, this is going to... This video is 100% going to help you. I guarantee you it will. Or like if you open Premiere Pro and then you click the effects tab or you open a project. If it crashes after any of those two things, uh, this will definitely help you. But there are going to be some downsides. So basically, I didn't know why I had this problem. And after talking to a ton of people, like doing hours and hours of researching and just connecting to people on Twitter with the similar problem and which... Those people did not fix this problem. Like everyone I talked to said they never fixed it, so they just stopped using Sapphire. So uh I'm just gonna like say that I think I'm the only one who figured this out, or there's probably a couple other people to figure this out. I'm not really sure, but um basically to fix this problem all right, first of all, your PC if you have this problem your PC might have been optimized, and this is my problem. This is what I figured out later that my PC I was optimized, and it was optimized by someone named Paragon and Adam, um, two different uh, times. And there's also another person named Zilly who optimizes PCs. And if if one of those three p people optimize your PC, or maybe it's another person optimize your PC, uh, I guarantee you this issue will, or this solution that I have will fix it. But if your PC wasn't optimized and you are having this problem, uh, I don't think this is the exact problem that you have. Um, so I would, I mean, you can try what I'm about to do, but if your PC wasn't optimized, then I don't think uh, the solution will work, but you can still try it. But if not, just uh, leave a comment and tell me if this was your problem or not. But I guarantee you, if your PC was optimized, this will help. So anyways, uh, just go down to the description and you're going to want to click the link that I put in the description, go to Google and then copy and paste it in the web browser. And literally this is, this is the only way to fish it. This is the only way to fix this problem without having to reset your PC. So if your PC was optimized, if you reset your PC, obviously it's going to go back to the default and it's going to revert all the optimized issues made. Uh, there are ways to revert the optimizations. I'm pretty sure Adam and Paragon make like a revert thing somewhere, but I tried doing that and they said they wouldn't suggest it. So um, I just didn't do that. And I didn't reset my PC because I wanted to see if this worked first. So what you have to do to fix this issue is you have to get the 11.0 version. So I'm sure all the Sapphires you've been trying to download are like the 13.1 or whatever it is. And it's the one with the pink Boris installer. You have to download this 11.0 version in order to work. But the only downside of this is you will not have channel options and you will not have RGB shake. And like for being a highlight setter and editing a ton, I, I never even use these anyways. I mean, a couple of my friends use the RGB, excuse me, the RGB shake, but like you really don't need it. There's so many ways you can do RGB over shakes anyways. Like you, it's not really that imperative. So um, it, it shouldn't be a big deal unless you like always use that every video, but I'm sure if you're watching this right now, I almost can guarantee you, you don't use those effects. So, but if you do, then your only solution will be restarting the PC or in the future, if Zilli or Paragon figures out what is causing this problem, because everyone I've talked to who has this problem has gotten their PC optimized to them. If they figured out what service or whatever they disabled that causes this issue, then, uh, maybe they can just reinstall it or uh, re-enable the service. But I don't think, they had no idea what it was. I've talked to both of them. Um, but yeah, so once you get to this, you literally just want to click download. The button should be right here. I already have this downloaded. And then I'm sure if you've had this problem, you've tried downloading multiple Sapphires. So I'm sure you know how to do it by now. Um, there's, when I did, when I tried figuring out how to solve this, I went through like probably 10 to 20 videos and like one was by some Indian dude. You probably got to that video before, um, but like he did, I don't even know what he said to do, but that was not my problem. But anyway, so once you download this, you want to open it in your downloads. And as I already have this installed, um, but yeah, you want to open your downloads 
and then literally there should be one installer and literally all you do is just click the installer and you just run it and uh that is basically the only thing you have to do and if you have uh tried fixing this issue already by downloading a ton of other sapphires but you're still not seeing it working uh you probably definitely already know how to use this and run um but yeah, I'm sure no one's on this video right now if you don't know what Sapphire is or if you don't know anything I'm talking about right now. I'm sure you all and some are even probably like pissed that you can't open your Sapphire or you, you can't open your Premiere when your Sapphire is downloaded. And like I felt the same way as you guys when I tried doing this and I was mad because there's no videos on how to fix this. But like this is the only fix you can do, but it does... Like I said, you won't get the channel option. It's RGB Shake. The only way you could do that is if you reset your PC, probably, or if um, Paragon or Xilly or Adam figures out what it is. But like, uh, yeah, let me know if this works. It it should work. Um, I've told a bunch of other people this, and it works for them. So um, yeah, uh, hope you if you if it, you did work, just leave a like and comment, and I. If anyone else ever has this issue who's gotten their PC optimized, just literally just send them this video or send them this link. Um, I don't really care about the views for this video. I'm just making this video because the day I could not get Safari to work, I was pretty pissed. And I finally figured it out after like a week. And uh, I don't want you guys to go through the struggle of that. So, uh, yeah, if this worked, just leave a like. And if it didn't work, um, don't dislike it because it's probably not – what I probably just explained is probably not your issue if your PC wasn't optimized – just uh i guess kindly leave if you leave a disc like it does um hurt the video so um yeah thanks for watching and peace out